it might sound like mad numbers. You know, when you say you're doing 200 mile an hour, you're averaging 130 odd mile an hour. But that's all I've ever, you know, for 10 years of racing around here. So, you know, you, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's, that's what you do. All I see is the points. Go down Braille, get to six gear, sit at this position on the bike, go over this bump. If you've got white lines to deal with, you've got the furniture around the track, you know, you've got the curbs, you've got the lamp posts, the walls. It's just like a computer game. It's just like a computer game. I know, well, I'm not letting go of the, um, the throttle until I get to that point. I hang off the bike at this certain way at this point there so it doesn't get out of shape. Um, the bike moves about a bit there, so I have to alter my body position to account for it. That's all I'm thinking the whole time. There's nothing heroic about it. There's nothing superhuman about it. It is, it is what it is. But I'm sure from the outside looking in, you just think, whoa, wow. Speed. Love it. Danger. Love it. Crash. Like <laughs> I suppose to Joe Bloggs, motorbike racing would be racing rounds Donington Park or Brands Hatch, you know, like short circuit, but for me, motorbike racing is, is road racing. You've got a road or a town, um, you close it off, you race motorbikes around it. That's all, yeah, that's all I, that's motorbike racing wise, that's all I've ever done. You'll go to any other short circuit and they're about, what, two mile long? when you come to the Isle of Man TT and the lap here is nearly 40 miles. Um, how many corners is there? How many corners is there? There's 240 corners. I know there's a lot of corners and it takes a lot of learning. And I, I started learning the place probably two years before I wrote it. Two years before, I just by watching DVDs. Did they have DVDs 10 years? We were a bit backwards where we're from. Yeah, we didn't have DVDs and we had the VHS. <laughs> I've been staying here for a, well, ten days now. I'm here for I'm here for the two weeks, um, but I've got I've got to earn my keep. I've got to earn my keep. So um, yeah, I've been painting out. Painted the garage last year and um, painting the house this week. So all right, well, well, the house, the brunt of the house is painting. I originally thought that's a two-week job there. It's a big house. It's a big house. Two weeks. Um, knocked it off in four days. Six o'clock starts. Yeah, practice at night. It's been going. It's all going to plan. This is, this is like um, what's the word? So, let me the solace. Just get away. You can just get away from it. I'm like riding motorbikes isn't hard work. And so two weeks over here and just ride motorbikes and do nothing else. It, I don't know, it's, it, I've, not achieved, I've not achieved anything. I've not achieved anything. I like a bit of job satisfaction. You go through a lot of grief to get everything sorted to get here, to sort out work, to sort out bikes, just to sort out everything. And you say, oh, sometimes you do ask yourself, man, is it worth it? Is it worth it? And anyway, they went out for the first, first lap of practice and you think, ah, oh, yeah, this is why we do it. <laughs> This is why we do it. There's nothing like it. There is nothing like it. I think going over 100 years, the event, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's still allowed to happen. It's spot on. Yeah, I think if you boys hold that for us, you think you can do that? Like, you won't see me, me, me at many press events or all like that, because um, I don't get paid to come here. Like, uh, I'm not saying all the riders get paid, but I mean, a lot of the riders get paid to come here, but... Um, that's not my thing, really. I have a day job. I have a day job, and that, yeah, that gives me the flexibility then. So the dog can wag the tail. I don't want to come over here and be at everyone's beck and call and have to, yeah, and have the tail wagging the dog. I don't want. I don't want that to happen. I, I, I ride motorbikes because I enjoy riding motorbikes. I don't enjoy all the press stuff that comes with it. Not that I'm um, ungrateful to the attention that I get. I'm not ungrateful. But it's, I just I do struggle with it, so I don't, I try and put myself in those situations as little as possible. Yeah, but it's just a bit. Yeah, when I get to the pits, everyone wants to, seems to want a PC, and I, I do struggle with that a bit. And yeah, that's not that's not very relaxing. I don't think that'd be very relaxing for anyone, would it? No, it's not. But it's, I think I've got the balance all right now. I've got the balance all right. Death. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> You don't get if you was riding around thinking about oh this this place is a bit dangerous. Oh, if I crash there, that's gonna hurt. If I hit that, if you were thinking that, well then you're in the wrong bloody job. You shouldn't be th you shouldn't be out there, really. I don't know if anyone anyone thinks about that when they're riding, but I don't think they should be. Should you? Should you? 
If you get it, if you get it right, it's going to hurt. But you shouldn't be riding around thinking, oh, oof, oof. I should have a risk assessment written about that. Sometimes things go wrong. I've got it wrong round here before. I've ended up in hospital a bit, but got away with it. It's not very often you get away with it around here. But I know the risks. I know the risks. No one's making me do it. No one's making me do it. Um, no. No, I want to win, so you do want to win, you've got to push, and if you're pushing, things go wrong sometimes. Finished second in the race yesterday. Um, no, I went... I was dead happy for the team. The team did a mega job. There was no lack of effort from my part. I was trying. I was trying. Um, so, I slept last night quite easy, quite easy, knowing that I tried as hard as I could. Why didn't I open the champagne? For me, nothing to celebrate and I think by me opening that champagne would have been a personal celebration of me finishing second but personally I've got nothing to celebrate about finishing second so for me not opening the bottle and giving the unopened bottle to the team so they could celebrate that's what it, that's what it means that's what it means <laughs> they'll paint the fence down until you've done it you wouldn't understand it it's just a it's out oh. You know, I don't, think, I don't even know there's a word for it. You could come out of it, it's rad, it's gnarly, it's awesome, it's this, it's that. I don't use words like that. I don't use words like that. I don't know if the English language has got a word to do it justice, to do the TT justice. I don't know if it has. <laughs>